My dear children, these things I write to you in order that you may not sin. But if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the just, and he is a propitiation for our sins, not for ours only, but also for those of the whole world. St. John's Epistle, chapter 2, verse 1. Those who hear this know that the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary are more than anxious to forgive sin, to draw all those tempted to despair, to come to the fountain of mercy, and where, where only the heart of our Lord forgives for those who are sorry for their sins and who can pray. We must pray to be sorry for our sins and hope in the mercy and the love of God and never despair. Despair is one of the greatest weapons of the devil. Judas gave in to despair. Had he only turned to the Virgin Mother, she would have led him directly to her son. So despair is one of those sins whereby one deliberately refuses to trust that God will give him the necessary help to save his soul. That's why St. Paul says, 1 Corinthians 10.13, May no temptation take hold of you, but such as man is equal to. God is faithful and will not permit you to be tempted beyond your strength, but with the temptation will also give you a way out that you may be able to bear it. So remember always those words. For those who love God, everything works together for the good. And God never turns a deaf ear to those who turn to Him with a humble and contrite heart.